again, are being moved into that area. Does Russia think their new nuclear weapons could win a war? That's Forbes. Newsweek, Russia has threatened nuclear attack, says Ukraine defense minister. Well, yeah, they've said, if you move armor in up against our border, we reserve the right to use tactical nukes. Uh, no longer unthinkable should U.S. ready for limited nuclear war. Uh, that's, uh, uh, that's out of defense. We have the military and NATO making incredible statements about ready for war with Russia. Top U.S. generals have been making just very hawkish statements. We've got analysts saying this is the most dangerous it's ever been. I've seen chemical plants blow up growing up in Texas. I've seen them on the news. I've seen them in the distance uh, when I was visiting family in Houston, 20, 30 miles away. I saw the, it, it, it doesn't go boom with a perfect white hot flash wave and then stop. Uh, it just doesn't look like any explosion I've ever seen. Joe, you've seen a lot of explosions. Uh, we're going to play this footage for TV viewers and radio listeners right now. This happened Sunday in Ukraine, and we'll get your take on it. Here it is. This is the footage of the um, explosion. Uh, and again, we're going to give folks the audio of that. We're going to queue up the raw footage uh, from Sunday. And as soon as this came out, uh, Joe... Uh, got it off Ukrainian television as soon as this came out, and, and we were able to, to uh, play it. And, and, and again, um, uh, this was played yesterday. Here it is, with audio. Oh, bitch. We've all seen hundreds of clips of what atomic bombs look like. And here's the flash. Shockwave. Guys, miles away. Houses miles away were on fire. 15. 15 miles away. And we'll just keep playing that in the background as a loop a few more times. Joe, what's your take on all this? So Sunday night, I get a message, a link sent to me on Facebook. Says, you got to check this out. I looked at the video, opened it up, and I see this explosion. I'm like, wow, what is this? I start digging into it. When I found the actual raw link on YouTube, it had just been put up maybe five to ten minutes prior. Only had five views on it. I was like, all right, I've got to get to work. We got to do something with this. This is unbelievable. You called me and said, you know, can I do this? Yeah. And when I got back to the office, I, I figured I'd, I'd check some of the mainstream sites to see if anybody was talking about this because that's huge. That's a giant explosion. It's a telltale. On. Still, they're not reporting on it hardly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, Sunday, I guess, you know, people don't want to interrupt the Grammys with, you know, small talk like this with explosions going on in Ukraine. I mean, that's all I could find on anything, on Twitter, on Facebook, on Fox, CNN, BBC, whatever it was, everybody wanted to talk about the Grammys. Nobody was talking about this. Now they are today. You know, and Did you ever see anything in Iraq and Afghanistan, explosions that looked anything like that? I've seen something that looked that big, but didn't have a shockwave like that. I mean, that, that, that footage made my heart thump just watching. I was like, oh my God, I hope that a nuke didn't go off. I hope there's not a lot of people. Because it knocks the people over that are miles yeah. away when it comes through. I mean, the pictures later in that area, you could see buildings were just like, the windows were busted out. There was like uh, parts of the building that were cracked and things like that. So, I mean, that was a huge explosion. And we looked, where's the footage of this place? Yeah. Well, I mean, where's the crater? It's not on the news of what happened to this, this supposed plant. And they're saying a cigarette did it. Yeah. And so I asked the question, did a nuke go off in Ukraine? And a lot of trolls came out and a lot of people were like, oh, it's, you know, it's not a nuke, but we have the capability of what's called a tactical nuclear weapon, which is a smaller weapon that will not create as much collateral damage, you know, like a strategic nuclear weapon. A strategic nuclear weapon pretty much renders anybody uh, not being able to uh, fight back. It demolishes the buildings and all that. So this would be what I thought a smaller, and that's what you even said too, it could be a, a tactical nuclear weapon. So I don't see the problem. Well, they've got them now that are just fired from mortars. The stuff they had back in the 50s and yeah. 60s, like the Davy Crockett, mm -hmm. was a two-man team. And it was meant in Eastern Europe, but the Russians poured across an overwhelming force. You just hit them with this. The issue is the Russians have been threatening to use these in state-run media. But but Russia was in control of this area, I'm told. But then the, the, what's the Ukrainian government saying? Well, right now they're saying Kiev has received threats of nuclear retaliation from Russia through unofficial channels if it continues to fight pro-Russian separatists in eastern Ukraine. The Ukrainian Minister of Defense, uh, Valerity Pelete, and it says the Russian side is threatened on several occasions across the unofficial channels that... In the case of continued resistance, they are ready to use a tactical nuclear weapon against us. So we need to just discuss that fact. I mean, that, that's a big escalation right there. Yeah. So what do you think's going on? It, it seems like 
someone in Ukraine probably did this. And it, they, they want to blame it on Russia to spark something up. It seems a little odd to me. And, and I, you've been researching. It's clear that this was a Russian-held plant? Um, well, in Dontest, there's a good bit of those people there as well. But at this point in time, I'm not quite sure. I'm still trying to find out. A lot of the stuff's closed down. A lot of people are Well, I know there's no media on it. Yeah. I mean, you'd think something like this would yeah, be I'm a bigger deal. Yeah, I'm trying to dig as much as I can, and it's hard to get a lot of... Uh, you know, particular. Well, what is Russia today that. saying? What are the Russians saying? Well, the Russians are saying right now that they think that there was an artillery strike that came in, and that's what hit it. Well, then you have the DNR, which is the Dantes People's Republic, who came out today and just said that they found what was remnants of a uh, Toka U, which is an actual piece that uh, is a warhead that shoots a warhead that could be chemical, nuclear, or EMP. And that's what they found today. And, and that's, a, that's a medium range or short range uh, mobile missile launcher. Yeah. We'll be right back. Let's stay right when there. When an emergency happens, you could be left to fend for yourself and your family. An outbreak of contagious disease can happen anywhere. Because we're faced with more diseases than ever before, we need a better solution than ever before. Fortunately, there is a simple, effective way to protect yourself. Supernatural Silver is a revolutionary silver solution that is clinically shown to be several hundred times more effective than colloidal or ionic silver. And it's powerful enough to help protect you and your family from deadly viruses, bacterias, and fungus. Supernatural Silver is effective against more than 500 different disease-causing pathogens without encouraging drug resistance and without side effects. Supernatural Silver is scientifically supported and is the number one choice of thousands for improved health and immune system support. Go to SupernaturalSilver.com and use the code SILVER2015 for 30% off. That's SupernaturalSilver.com. Give yourself and your loved ones a fighting chance. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. Hear that? That's the sound of a house being trashed while a gang of thieves ransack the place. And what they don't steal will be destroyed. This year, resolve not to be the next victim of a break-in. Go to faketv.com and discover a device that creates the illusion someone inside is watching TV, even when you're miles away. Security is a mindset, and fake TV should be part of your security solution. Be vigilant, but not fearful. faketv.com Hunters, anglers, campers, and survivalists. Get back to nature. Expand your horizons with the highest quality, most versatile, unique slingshots and sling bows on the market at slingbow.com. Slingbow products are compact and models start from just $17.98. They're perfect for your bug out bag or storing in your vehicle. Give yourself and your loved ones the excitement and tradition of slingbow. A new frontier in archery and truly modern twist on this primitive survival tool. Feel the thrill only at slingbow.com. Donetsk is a major city in eastern Ukraine, in the Crimea region, and they've been having major battles there between the Russian separatists and the Ukrainian military. And it's clear that supposedly rebels want to drive uh, the Ukrainian forces out of this area. The Russians have been threatening to use tactical nuclear weapons. This would be a clear message. I'm not saying that's what it is, but there's been so much talk on both sides about this. And then you've got McCain running around saying it's time to have war in the news directly with Russia. And Russia says if they start fighting U.S. or NATO forces directly, that they're not going to fight the armor. They're just going to nuke it. And then that's how I've said over and over again, a nuclear war could start. That's what the analysts say. 
uh, they're in the news today, analysts, you know, diplomats saying the most dangerous thing I've ever seen. You, you, they use attack or the West uses attack, a, a weapon, getting overrun. Remember uh, during the Pristina situation, during the Kosovo War, the Russians landed at the Pristina airport and took it over. And then they ordered the head of NATO to attack the Russians. And the head general, who's British, said, I will not start World War III and did. And he said, the Russians have always had an interest in, in this country. I'm not doing it. Well, now they may have generals that are willing to do it. And the thing is, the Russians have said, we will launch these weapons at you. So, so whether this is a, a bomb going off or not, I keep saying a bomb because a lot of these uh, tacticals are very primitive. It fires like a plutonium bullet into a ball of, uh, of uh, uranium. Those are some of those more simpler weapons. And that looks like the atomic bomb blast I've seen over and over again. When you see that first shock of the atoms and that first wave of golden light, that's, that's, that's not what conventional explosives or chemicals do. They expand slowly compared to uh, fissionable material. And I'm not a nuclear physicist. I've just studied this. It looks bad, Joe. Yeah. Well, the thing is, is if one person starts using a strategic nuke or a, uh, a tactical nuke, and then the other one uses a tactical nuke, then that leads into strategical nuke. Uh, you know, it escalates. Wars. First it they escalates. use the little ones. And then, then, then they the go to the bigger, and then they wipe it out. And then it gets out of hand. And then you've got people... Not only does Russia have this uh, capability, but Pakistan has this kind of capability. Other people around here are having India. That. Yeah. So it says outside the U.S., both established an emergency uh, nuclear powers, increasingly see nuclear weapons as weapons that can be used in a controlled, limited, and strategically useful fashion. See, and again, it's all over the news. Russia and the U.S. keep saying, oh, it's no big deal to use nukes now. Keep going. Barry Watson, analyst with the Center for Strategic and Budgetary Assessments, says Russia has not only developed new relatively low-yield tactical nukes, but also routinely war game their use to stop both NATO and Chinese conventional forces should they overrun Moscow's feeble post-Soviet military. And like you said- That's right, because they've only got 160 million people and a half million man army compared to China with three or four million, the US with a million. They're, they're saying, they're betting everything on tactical nukes. Yeah, and like I said, Pakistan has developed the tactical nukes to stop India's much larger military, which also would have the capability as well, and Iran is seeking this out. So. You get tactical nukes being fired, then it escalates, and everyone's just trying to push the buttons to see who's got the, the bigger cojones to do it. And the real weapon is a remote control nuke mines, uh, atomic mines, because they'll put those out. They have spotters by radio or sat phone now. The, the tank brigades uh, come, you know, come into the area, and you just detonate right in the middle of them, take them all out. Yeah. Yeah, this is just, it's not a, it's not a good game to play, and they're trying to start something. It says Russia is moving tactical nuclear weapon systems into recently annexed Crimea, while the Obama administration is backing informal talks aimed at cutting U.S. tactical nuclear deployments in Europe, in Europe and that's the Washington Free Be a Beacon. Three senior House Republican leaders wrote to President Obama two weeks ago warning that Moscow will deploy nuclear missiles and bombers armed with long-range air-launched cruise missiles into occupied Ukraine territory. And they've now been patrolling even the edge of our skies. Yeah. Because of the provocation, because the West is moving its forces up against Russia. Yeah. And I'm not lionizing Russia, but we're starting it. Yeah. We're starting it. And I mean, it was about two months ago that NATO general, he's a U.S. general, I forget his name, he gets up in his little Air Force uniform and he goes, we're ready to take on the Russians. I mean, nobody ever talked like that before. Yeah. I mean, we're ready to have a war, no big deal. I mean, I'm sorry, it's not a bunch of Iraqis that we're fighting here, folks, with AK-47s. It's the Russians with nuclear weapons. What? This is GCN. The About Jets war with Russia. Communications Radio Network. The new house of cards. Stay there. I want to talk about that. We're going into overdrive. What disaster is so powerful? It unleashes a chain of mass pandemics, economic meltdowns, and violent food riots, all at the same time. NASA has already set the countdown timer, and right now the 21st century apocalypse is less than 13 months away. Former CIA Director James Woolsey says two-thirds of U.S. population could perish. In a matter of seconds, the world as we know it will cease to exist. The world's economy will be wiped out. Mass riots will follow. Ancient diseases will reemerge. How will you shield yourself and your loved ones from this upcoming apocalypse? Go to darkestdays.info to find out proven methods of protecting yourself, your loved ones, and even your entire community when this worst case scenario unravels. That's D A R K E S T D A Y S dot I N F O. Darkestdays.info. Go there before this life saving information becomes unavailable to the large public. Go to darkestdays.info now.